Well, one of the most prominent leaders in Minnesota's response to the pandemic is retiring next week. The state's infectious disease director, Chris Ayersman, is stepping down after 30 years in public health. Ayersman led the state's response to the H1N1 virus back in 2009 and later tackled the measles outbreak in 2017, all before the coronavirus pandemic struck. She told us today that she started with MDH doing epidemiology research back in the 80s. My first job as a student worker at the department was working for Mike Osterholm. So I feel like, um, you know, he really instilled in us the pursuit of excellence and um, that, that carried on to the next generation of epidemiologists. And I can tell you that um, the generation that comes after me um, is pursuing excellence in the same way. So that tradition continues. Now, Chris's husband is also retiring from the health department. She told me today that they both started planning their retirements about five years ago. Chris's last day is coming up next Wednesday. And we've got more data that is showing that Minnesota has passed its Omicron peak. Wastewater data shows that the Twin Cities saw its peak on January 10th. Case data is now also showing that the surge reversed course at that point. In fact, 20% of all tests were coming back positive. The positive rate has since been falling. The number of people in the ICU is also falling with 263 patients on January 10th, down to just 213 patients today. That's the lowest number we've had since Halloween.